I think all the way through both of these films, for me, they're really, you know, every sort of situation is an opportunity for Jack to mature a little bit and wake up a little bit and kind of get through some of his past a little bit more and, and deal with something a little bit better. And not to say that he's using these situations to do that, because I don't think he's conscious of it. Um, but I think that Linda, you know, the fact that he's ready to take somebody on like Linda kind of means he's ready to perhaps step away from the, you know, the grief that he's been going through with his wife. If that's you, Gavin, I have a lifetime case of herpes. Go away. Linda Hillian? Jack Irish, right? Oh, yeah, right. You rang about the Ann Jepsen hit and run. Yeah. I wasn't looking at him and I turned around and we locked eyes and we hadn't done that much work together. In fact, I'm not sure we had. I think Jeffrey probably planned that. So there's a true getting to know you on screen. But I don't practice law much anymore. What do you do? I live off my wits, gamble, drink. Well, then you'll be keeping pretty much the same company. Oh, no, it's definitely a notch up since then. <laughs> In a way, she kind of lights him up. And I thought, that's an interesting impact to have on a story, that you don't just come in as, as the romance or the, uh, the victim, but actually you meet someone, you match them, you wake them up, and together you sort of take on a whole institution.